This here is Loretta Jenkins ready to jack you in the soul with another high season. Look, I am more than a loud map with a hot snatch. I am a great and powerful oracle bequeathing you commoner straight talk prophecies and you universal warnings that's done come true. You bitches know what I'm talking about for shizzle for show. Did I just not for predict that folks is gonna turn into flesh eating zombies or what? And I, I, I think I done one just back yonder the other day. Now listen up, if you want them folks out there that don't watch the news or you cut off for society, I did what did I said shit listen the fuck up! What I say? Huh? What did I say? Yeah. What did I say? God damn it. Hold on. Y'all think it's a new war on drugs and they and it's a horrible um, menace to our society. And y'all, that is why the Bed Bath & Beyonds is all going to be closing down because that lady on, that, on Channel 6 says we all going to be getting high on the bath salt. And they got my wheel starts to turn, and you, and you know how them uh, G's got the markets cornered on them, on them uh, cooking sauce? Well, I think part of the, the strategy of this Muslim jihad against us is to um, prey on our white weakness for these cheap ice gas station drugs. Especially as trailer folks, who's been genetically proven to, to have less willpower genes. So it ain't our fault. We all got a crutch. You got your coffee. I got my liquor. But I draw a line of shit that make you want to eat people. I mean, food to me is nice enough. I ain't down with that soyant green monkey business. I mean, don't it seem suspicious that every time you go get gas no more, there's a waffle incense all around? And a hot bee behind the counter all smiling and pushing energy drinks on you? And there's always this scared looking older lady with a red dot on her head staring out from behind the office looking like she hope you caught a lot said, I don't give a fuck. I mean, that's why they own all these gas stations. They're drugging us. Shit, I'm gonna have to get my HS wires. Hmm? Fuck you, Margie. I ain't doing that shit. I done told you. I ain't gonna be no Hannibal Cannibal. I tell you what, a few years back, I smoked that up in for like six hours straight. I was like the goddamn dumbest person alive. Dumber than the whole state of Mississippi. What I want to know is who come up with this idea to huff and puff and blow this shit up they nose. I mean, like, it's like the first time I done cocaine. I didn't know if it was real cocaine or something that's gonna be bad for me. The general rule of thumb is don't buy drugs from a stranger or a fidgety hooker. Are you principal? Learned that one the hard way. We need to seriously think about putting Mr. Yuck stickers on these bath salts so our younger generations knows that they poison in the key. Ew, I should, I should, hey, I should, uh, uh, I should, I should steal all Tabby's pings off her clothesline and still scream Mr. Yuck on her cooters. <laughs> Cause you know that hoe probably full of some toxic snake bite juice shit or something. LOL. <laughs> Would it be too much to ask folks to stop eating each other? Huh? i tell you what's gonna happen. Uh, the, all this is just gonna be training us for the day that the, the uh, sun die and all the plants and animals die as a result. I mean, we ain't gonna have anything to eat except for canned peaches and beans and each other. Unless you got your wits about you and you decide to go fully liquid like myself. Now I've done some spearmenting in the past. One time me and my ice hell ex, we dried out some banana peels and we roll that up and smoke that shit. But all we did was let this black dude listen to his fuck over the speakerphone. We didn't get the urge to chew nobody's chin off or nothing. What kind of fucking pussy are you? You can't find a real drug to get your buzz off a of. fucking kid today. Supposed to get your drug off a drug dealer, not off some porn store down the road. Goddamn society ought to be young repair if you want my opinion,
Well, I hopefully going to do us a hissy on marijuana soon because lots of my doobie drinking buddies want to know my 411 on that. But let me leave you with this, you diggy, you motherfuckers. There's always going to be something that some dumb fuck going to want to put in their bodies that'll kill them. If folks are too stupid to regulate their own bodies, and I think most Americans going to agree with me here, then they too fucking stink to live. The spin out the herds, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's how I see it.